Hi, I'm Eric. You've probably seen my YouTube account. Um, this is my first video. So I hope you guys will comment and ask questions and stuff like that. Well, anyways, um, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a miniature logo. Which is pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> well, anyways, what you're going to need is a pen. I, I recommend the clear type. So that way, when you suck on your ammo or suck in, and if your ammo is loaded or whatever, you don't end up choking on ammo and stuff like that because uh, it'll seriously hurt you might cough it up but it'll probably hurt like heck and you might cough up some blood too but I don't, I don't know um, for ammo I recommend that you use these toothpicks sorry about my hands being sweaty I from cutting this thing as you can see um, gonna need a knife for that make sure you cut all the way around and make a decent enough groove then you can use scissors like these even though they're kid scissors and you can cut off what you don't want um, and it'll, they'll work these scissors will just work just fine. So you don't need anything bigger or anything like that. In case you can't really find anything else like scissor wise, scissors wise, a little up. Made my own tongue twister there. <laughs> um, but, anyways, I'm going to test this thing out. Oh, um, I recommend you take the back. Or use um, cotton on the end. I'm not sure you guys can see the tape on the end. But um, I discovered that because this thins out like so, well, um, uh, the tape doesn't go through. The tape kind doesn't go through. And the tape or cotton will provide a lot more pushing force and you'll be able to get a lot more damage. Um, uh, if you ser seriously want to do some big damage, you can use needles or uh, tacks if you can find a big enough pin, I guess. Um, also, if you're going to use needles, try to take the back unless they got the little ball point at the end. Um, anyways, uh, let's test this thing out. I'm not sure if you guys can see the paper or not, but hey, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, lower up like so. Let's see. Ooh, Let's see what this thing can do. Bring you in for a closer look. Right there where my finger is, is a little hole. So it pierced it, but it just didn't go all the way through, which is bad, I guess. Doesn't have enough pushing force behind it. If I had the tape or cotton, then it'd probably work. But I don't have any cotton, which would probably be able to fit through the small end. I tried it the other way, but it just bounced around way too much and ended up hitting the paper sideways or missing it completely. So, uh, yeah. Um, I guess I could do a distance one and see how far it goes. Um, let's see. Let's 
Oof, it went all the way across my room. And it's like about uh, five feet wide, maybe. So, uh, it's pretty far. I'll find that later on. Hopefully I won't step on it. Because that will probably hurt. And if I do step on it, then... Uh, yeah. It will be the first time I stepped on something and it hurt like heck. <laughs> um, honestly, and if you guys honestly don't believe that I can make stuff, you know this is kind of proof. Well, I have this on. I'm not sure if you can see it. But there's the skull and the executioner word off that. It says a uh, certified zombie killer on the back with a little zombie hand on one of the letters. Uh, I had this made for me. I did drawing and letters and all that, including on the back. Um, also made this in fourth grade, believe it or not. Um, as you can see, it's taped to heck because I used needles to uh, hold down the tinfoil here. Uh, um, you can probably see the needles right here. And as you can see, the red and such, that's pen. And considering I made this in fourth grade, that's pretty dang good. Got some stretchable rope here. Doesn't really fit my head because the rope's not stretchable enough and it's just too small. But well, it still fits my head and I just can't like put it on and let it stay on there. I can hold it against my face like so. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, this thing does good amount of damage. I mean, it did penetrate paper and went five feet. So, that's pretty good. Hopefully, I'll have a better version of this where I'll be able to shoot the tape kind or the cotton type on the end and maybe once it gets warmer I'll shoot the needles outside at a tree or cardboard or something like that I don't know um, also please be careful with this because you don't want to suck on it and end up choking on the your ammo and um, cause with the this little the toothpicks it'll hurt you know cough it up me with some blood I'm not sure but with the needle or the tack that will hurt big time and I'm pretty sure it'll go to hospital but I'm not really sure um anyways uh, please don't go shooting at anyone. Um, if you're going to shoot at anything, shoot at squirrels, rabbits, or birds. I'm pretty sure you can take out small game with this thing. I haven't really had a chance to test it out because, um, well, everything's in hiding out right now because of how cold it is. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but um, it did do a decent job. It did pretty good distance and it penetrated paper, but didn't do as much penetration as I liked. Cause probably because I didn't have anything on back to provide more pushing force and um, all that. So. Uh, well, anyways, um, join me next time, and I'll show you guys how to make uh, more miniature weapons. And hopefully when it gets warmer out, I'll be able to show you guys how to make bigger stuff. 
Ooh, excuse me. Ugh. 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 I don't think I remember eating that. Ugh. I hate when that happens. I'm not sure you guys had the same deal, but ugh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, again, I recommend you keep the stuff. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but keep the stuff that you have left over because it'll come in handy, probably. I mean, this could be used as, uh, I don't know, maybe like a, a holding thing, like, I don't know, like to hold your ammo or something like that, maybe, or something. Uh, and this could be used for, I don't know, maybe you're going to make a cap gun or something. This could be used as a bullet, I guess, maybe. Or maybe you could use the inside to uh, make a bullet-shaped mold. But I'm not really sure if I mentioned that before, but uh, yeah. So, uh, anyways, uh, please be careful and please don't try shooting at anyone or unless they're either zombie or crazy as heck and trying to kill you I guess um so uh yeah so um you guys uh enjoy Hopefully I'll have the version 2 of this out next time. If not, it'll probably be a different miniature weapon. Um, so, yeah. Uh, until next time. See ya.